Yankees have been busy. Omar Minaya with uh, years of skin in the game as a scout, as a player, as a general manager with the Mets and Expos is back in a front office as the Yankees are trying to corner the market on baseball brains. And Omar has been added to uh, to the staff along with some other formal uh, notable former GMs, Brian Sabian among them as a senior advisor in baseball operations to the Yankees. Uh, pretty good ad, I would say. Like yeah. of all the players that get added, we talk about who wins the offseason. Boy, you add two big-time baseball guys uh, the way the Yankees have, and it gets everybody's attention. It's good to have Omar on the program with us this morning. Uh, oh, congratulations on this gig, man. This, this has to be exciting for you. Thanks for taking some time with us. Well, thank you, yeah. And it is exciting. <laughs> for me, it's exciting, of course. Um, you know, being raised in New York and uh, most of my life being in Queens, uh, living in Jersey and now uh, here in the Bronx. Uh, you know, we talk like that in New York, Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, boroughs. Uh, but to be able to part, uh, to be part of this uh, uh, great organization, to be able to be a part with uh, Brian Cashman and, of course, you know, the whole staff that's here, you know, with the ownership of uh, Hal Steinbrenner and Randy Levine. And then, you know, you add to that, bringing on board uh, Brian Savian, who's uh, well respected by all of us in the history, in the industry. And, you know, you got just, the, you know, Jim Hendry, other well respected people. And, and just uh, for me as a, as a New Yorker, uh, it could not get better. Hey, oh, you just rattled off three former GMs that are now working yes. with Brian Cashman. This only happens when you get older and you have no ego sitting there thinking, <laughs> I got to run this thing. A am, I, am I correct? Well, you're, you're right. I think, you know, uh, you know, when you get older, how when you're in baseball and you're honest, you say to yourself, you know, I have, there's probably a lot of mistakes there along the way. So you're hopefully <laughs> able to help others. And with success comes mistakes, but that's experience. Um, and to me, but it takes a, it's really more about the leadership, uh, an organization that's willing uh, to accept a uh, uh, lead, you know, guys that have been in leadership positions like Henry, like Sabian, like myself. And then, you know, that goes to Brian. Brian's very comfortable. I think, I think we've all, you know, we know the history of Brian. I think you've spoken about for me, what probably, you know, a, you know, a Hall of Famer for me. And then you have Sabian, who's another Hall of Famer. Um, and then you blend it in with a, a whole bunch of young, uh, executives that are in the game and uh, you know it to me is very exciting but it starts with leadership and people feeling comfortable and it's really about everybody pulling together for the team well there's a lot of ways people might look at this like okay what are the Yankees doing what are they obviously the goal is to always win what will your role be will you be back you cut your teeth and really your name was made with signing a lot of international players and bringing guys over and building whether it's the Rangers the Expos the Mets you know, you've always been able to be in that international market. What will your role be? Will you be involved there in that area with the Yankees? Well, yeah, yeah. My role is going to be a versatile role. I mean, it's been my role that I've been doing ever since. I mean, yes, people remember me for being an international uh, director and, you know, but my role really, uh, it's, it's uh, versatile. Whether, you know, when you're a GM, you're just not only thinking international. Uh, to me, you know, when you're a GM, you know, I've been part of many, oh, many drafts over the years. Um, and, you know, it's going to be domestic. It's going to be domestic. I do love, I have a passion for scouting, but the bottom line is team building. Uh, when you've been a general manager in a small market like Montreal, um, and then you've been a big uh, general manager in a big market like New York, you know, there's a lot of history there. And also, so how I'm basically going to use all the, you know, it's going to be whether it's going to be international and domestic, it's going to be team building, it's going to be relationship. It's going to be all the things that, uh, you know, when you have plus 30 plus or close to 40 years of experience um, in baseball, you're going to be able to bring. And that's why the title is a senior advisor to baseball operation, which baseball operation means all the areas. All it means is that I'm going to be there as a sounding board. If um, if anybody needs, uh, you know, some conversations, some meeting, I will be seeing amateurs. I will be seeing uh, for trades. It's a very versatile role, but you, I think Harold, you know me, and I think uh, I'm a big believer in versatility. If you look at my career, it's been a very versatile career. Did you say soundboard? Good morning! Or sounding board. Another person that Harold has on the inside for tickets. It's unbelievable. <laughs> hey, Omar, who got the bigger office, you or Sabian? 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Listen, we're we're in areas right now that we, we when you're an advisor, uh, you rather not have an office. Just come come in whenever you need it. So <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> That's called experience. That's called experience. That's very veteran. <laughs> but I'm move. pretty sure. I'm so, pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna be around. I can tell you that we're gonna be around the offices all the time. So Matt, uh, you know Omar said we've known each other a long time. Yeah. We actually were roommates in A ball. So here it is. We're playing spring training breaks, and we're going to go to drive to Wausau, Wisconsin. And we got, what, oh, about 18 hours or something like that to get there? Uh, more, uh, yeah, from Arizona to Wausau, baby. Figure that out. Yeah, figure that out. So we're driving. So I'm going to drive. It's my car. I'm going to drive. He's from New York. I'm not trusting a guy who grew up taking the bus and the subways everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to drive. I am so tired that I decide I've got to pull over and let O drive. So he's driving, and I fall asleep in the passenger seat. And I look up, and we're going, like, South Dakota or somewhere, and it's around the mountains. But it looks like we're going into the mountain when I wake up. And I start yelling, Omar! Omar! Oh, <laughs> and he's, I'm thinking we're going to run right into the mountain. Oh, my well, gosh. The thing, the, thing, the thing about that story is that it's the first time I ever uh, drove a stick ship. I never drove a stick so ship. So we start off <laughs> like this. That wasn't much comfort. <laughs> so, you know, when you're in the Midwest and I'm driving at night, the guy thinks there's no traffic, so there's no back and forth, and it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. All, you, all I had to do was just put my foot on, uh, on the pedal. But if, if anytime there was a stick shift situation, the transmission could have probably blown out. Blown out, I can tell you that. He's got his head out the window. Was it just away. the two of you guys in yeah. the car? You didn't want to bring someone else with you that was... Everybody driving. else was driving. Well, that's how you had to get oh, there, man. man. They give to, it just we need to make that into a cartoon. Uh, well, what, was that a uh, was that a Toyota? Was that a Toyota? Yeah, Celica? it was a what Toyota was Corolla or something like that. Nice, safe, Corolla. large yeah. vehicle for you, oh, yeah. you two guys. Hey, uh, yeah. Omar, right. J.P. Morosi is with us this morning as well, and he has a question for you. Yeah. Yeah. So good morning, Omar. Congratulations. Congratulations on, on the new role. Uh, I, I would love to hear the story about the time that you had a chance to have dinner at the White House and talk baseball. Oh, my God, that was great. Yeah, that was uh, with uh, President Bush, of course. And, you know, being a Ranger, President Bush, uh, um, you know, we had a great relationship. He loved baseball. He loved talking uh, prospect, believe it or not. Um, and it was just uh, for me to be there with him uh, and his wife, Laura. And uh, it was just, uh, you know, talking baseball. Here we are. And, you know, we have Frank Robinson next to me. And uh, we had George Will and, um, you know, but the bottom line is he's the one thing about him. He's asking me questions about uh, and, <laughs> and I say this, the Iraq war was going on and I, and I can see he's just but he remembered everybody and he would ask me questions about like, hey, I, I'm glad that you uh, hired uh, uh, your trainer at that time it was Ray Ramirez. And here I am so impressed. Here's the president of the United States, uh, the leader of the world. And he's looking at, the he told me the transaction he saw that I hired Ray Ramirez. I mean, to me, that was pretty cool. But he just loved baseball, and he's just a great guy. And we had a great relationship uh, with the Rangers. Omar, um, so Omar we, awesome. uh, we appreciate the visit today, man. Congratulations on this. It's going to be great to see you back around the ballpark in the Bronx. Uh, I was unaware of your role as a geopolitical consultant as well. So <laughs> you put that on the resume, too. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, man. We look forward to seeing you at spring training. Well, thank you very much, guys. And it's just, uh, very, you know, like I said, it's very happy to be here as, as a New Yorker to be, hey, to be, and now I'm in the Bronx. Let's just say that. I'm awesome. a Queens guy working in the Bronx. He put himself in the box, man. People are going to, the, the Queens and the Bronx, oh, you're, you're going to be getting it from all kinds of folks. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Omar, thank you again. We're going to take a buddy. break. Uh, when we come back, more hot stove. Still going to kick around an early look at next year's comeback players of the year. Uh, we're going down on the farm to talk to a minor league skipper and a lot more on a Tuesday coming up. You grew up, up a New Yorker. Which side of it would you have been? A Met or a Yankee? <laughs>